Hey, I'm Robbie. I'm AJ. And this is CPE 233 at Cal Poly, uh, Professor Jurgen's class. Um, we spent all of, uh, well, most of the quarter designing a CPU on, onto a Nexus 2 board. And would you like to explain our project? And for the last two weeks, we've been writing a project in assembly in VHDL, and we made a maze game where you act as Fred, the trippy pixel, and you try to get to, where is it on this board? The uh, end point right there, which is the black dot. And you travel around the maze. Oh, I just reset the board. <laughs> That's the board's reset screen. <laughs> it's very colorful. The button's in the most inconvenient place. There we go. And uh, there are three mazes, which you can cycle through, button three. And the seven segment display displays the maze. Then, when you reach the end, which, and this switch allows you to phase through walls to speed up the demonstration <laughs> process. Convenient. When you reach the end, you get a windscreen, and it happens on all the mazes when you reach the end. Player input is through the keyboard, through the WASD keys. <laughs> is, there, is there a way to do it without going through the walls? Yes. Uh, okay. let's the switch is, if the switch is down, it doesn't let you know. <laughs> You're stuck in the walls, so it won't let you go through. I don't know if I went the right way. Relax. Relax. Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Just cut through the wall, man. <laughs> <laughs> the wall phasing made testing this a lot less frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> you have to navigate the maze every single time we wanted to win. Since there wasn't enough space in the assembly language code, we had to uh, write these mazes through a another component constructed in VHDL. And it reads the uh, collision data from the VGA memory so that we don't have to store the walls anywhere in the program in the same space. Very good. Thank you.